We've now finally made it to part three of the three part tutorial series on making this um, cartoon 90 style anime robot. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already seen part one and two, check it out on my channel, but this is the final part where we're gonna finish this off and um, yeah, this will be the final result. So now that we're in part three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go to our empty options. Let's go ahead and add in a cube as an empty. And with this cube here selected, we're gonna press M and create a new collection. Let's just call it stage and go ahead and create. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, make sure that our camera lights layer here is um, collection is enabled. We're gonna select the camera and holding in shift, we're gonna select the MT. We're gonna go control P and we're gonna go object keep transform. Okay, so now we can grab this empty and we can come over here to our timeline. We're gonna to come to frame one and with this empty selected, we're gonna press I to insert a keyframe. And then we're gonna come over here to frame 250 and with this empty selected, we're gonna press N to bring up our properties panel. And then we're gonna go over to item. And then over here under the rotation, we're gonna make a Z component 360. And we're gonna press I to insert a keyframe. Now we can select these two keyframes down here and we can press T and we can make it linear. So now if we go to frame one and we go into a camera view, we can press um, the space bar and we can see this is our looping circular um, animation here. Okay, pretty cool. Nice. And what we can do as well, we can select the actual robot body. Okay, so make sure, there we go, the body itself. And we can go over to frame one. We can enable auto keying. And on frame one, we're gonna press I to insert a keyframe for the body. And let's grab that same keyframe and go shift D to duplicate it and put it on the end frame. Then in between here, we can just kind of go G and Z, maybe move it down a bit. And then up here, we'll move it up. And then over here, kind of just randomly kind of adjusting it a little bit like this, just kind of a little bit of up and down movement with the auto king. And let's go ahead and turn off the auto king. Let's go into our camera view and see what it looks like. There we go. If you wanted to, you could always grab the body and you could um, rotate things on um, enable auto king. And you could do like slight rotations like this if you wanted to. Maybe rotate it up a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna turn off the pivot transform, turn it back to median point. You can kind of do slight rotations, um, but that's completely up to you. Just give it a little bit of movement. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna add in a circle, tab into edit mode and go S to scale that circle up, like so, and then press F to fill in that face. Tab back out and grab this circle and press M and just add it to that robot collection. And then in our camera view, we should now see the line art around that as well. So with this one, we're gonna go ahead to our materials tab. We're gonna click new. And let's just go into our shading workspace. And in fact, what we could probably do is just add that orange material to this in a dropdown. Click on this 14 here to make it a new material. Let's call this something like ground. And then we could just come in here into our camera view and let's have a look. Let's grab this one over here, make it less saturated. Grab this one over here and make it less saturated. So something like that, maybe come over here and maybe make it almost a little bit gray. And for some reason, um, this material is not updating. I'm not quite sure why. But if we go into our rendered view by pressing Z and going rendered, we can see there it is. So um, yeah, so we'll make the shadowy bits a bit darker something like that. And this one here, we'll just kind of make it like a gray. And with the shadow, it might be handy just to make it more something along the blue, just so it looks a bit more shadowy. And take this one into the blues just a little bit as well. So that's looking, that's looking really good. So let's go to a camera view. And what we can do is go back into our shading, uh, our main layout here, and just extrude this one down. There we go. And now we have something like this. Now, if you go into your rendered view, you might wanna to go to your world properties and you can change kind of like the world background. So change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna just find something that I think looks kind of okay. Something like that, maybe a little bit darker. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just find a shot that we like 
And I'm going to go render and I'm going to render the image. And that rendered instantly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this. I'm going to go over to the compositing. Over here, I'm going to go use nodes. Shift a search and get a viewer node. Plug the image into here. And then kind of just cut these two cables together. So now this is what we have. And you can press V just to zoom back out. And what we're going to do, we're going to go shift a search and we're going to get a lens and get a lens distortion. Place it on this cable. And let's give it a value of 0 0.03 at the top. And the dispersion, we're going to make that 0 0.01. Then we're going to duplicate this one, put it underneath here. And let's make this one 0 0.02 at the top and 0 0.02 at the bottom. And then let's mix these two together. So we're going to go shift a search and get a mix. I'm going to go for mix color, place it here. And then let's take these two image inputs from the two lens distortions. And then let's take this image output and put it into here. So the image output's going into the com uh, composite and the viewer. I'm going to make this a value of 0 0.4. And I'm going to click fit on both of these. And um, yeah, this image here needs to be going into the image at the bottom input, like so. So now if we zoom in, you can see we kind of get this bit of a blurred effect. And it just looks a little bit, maybe just a little bit too blurred. So we can come here and make the distortion here 0 0.02 at the top as well but we want to keep the dispersion um, different. So maybe bump up the dispersion a little bit. Okay, that's a bit too much. I'll just make it 0 0.02 at the bottom and 0 0.01 at the top. So what we get now, if I zoom in, is this sort of effect here, which I think looks really good. Okay, so this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. Okay, pretty cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our layout. I might just grab my camera and I'm just going to make an adjustment on my focal length. And I might just make some slight adjustments to the camera movement as it's moving along here. But at this point, it's completely up to you what you want to do with the, um, with the kind of like camera position and all that. But we just want our robot here. Here we have our robot looking pretty cool. And what we can do now is we can go over to our output. We can change the output destination here. So I'm gonna go with my desktop. Under the file format, let's make it FFmpeg video. And under the encoding, let's change the container to MP4 and make sure to save. And then you can go render and you can render the animation.